Yeah, who said the rookie's got to be shy, right? He's, he's been anything but that. And has produced some numbers. And Mitchell with the floater. So our first points here in Denver. You see Santa Barbara getting their eye on him in one of the European Championships. Fade away look, and it falls for LJ Cryer for his first point. Well, defensively, what they did right there, the Bears. That's a good drive. LJ can flat out score the basketball, and he's not bashful. Either. Crossover and floats it over the outstretched arms of Miles Norris, who is going for the block. And defensively, Baylor, their strategy right now is for A.J. Mitchell. Any ball screens, they're going to double team. They're paying a lot of attention. So guys on a weak side can make shots and make plays. Yeah, they're going to give him an opportunity. Wishart drills his first three-point make. And Baylor's going to have to rebound the ball. They really got embarrassed on the boards against Iowa State in that Big 12 quarter pass. And the Thunder is finished. Let's watch this. Throw it to the big fella. Send it home. I love it. We got our first dunk, Avery. Scout shows in this game. Evans Caputo, a, so a junior coming off the bench here today. Reverse falls for Jalen Bridges for his first points. Loving the way A.J. Mitchell is accepting these double team teams and getting off the basketball. Mitchell, a little pump fake. Finger roll finish for him. Baylor's going to have to improve on their defense. Their, their switches are a little soft on the defensive end. The freshman George right now, Avery, is aiming. He just got to catch the basketball and let it flow. Just shoot it in rhythm. Great points, man. There's a look for Kelly. That they haven't provided the elite defense that we have seen in the previous years. And more importantly, in that 2021 national championship year. Caleb Lohner with his first two off the bench. And it is difficult when you're giving up those offensive rebounds and you have to guard for almost a minute instead of 40 se 30 seconds. Some important bench points here for Baylor coming from Caleb Lohner. Can they continue to take advantage of their, their size, especially playing in the Big 12 Conference, which was arguably, or it was the best conference in basketball. Oh, back to a look. Beautifully done. Lohner with the finish. Hard cuts, decisive cuts. Good pass to Mitchell. Lohner's got the last six points, part of an 8 nothing run. Kelly's in trouble, has to put it up. What a shot. Take oh, your Greg time, Kelly. big fella. With the practices, the, the, the glasses, the goggles, if you will, that he's wearing on his face, makes a backdoor cut to free up that left side. Here's Adam Flagler. Now with five here, the shoot's got to put it up. Nothing but net. That's from Adam, their leader. He's so poor. He's been there, done that. Great punk fake right there. Wish on. Need to see that. Need to see the ball go through the hoop. This is a play right here where they want to get the ball in the middle. Now, A.J. Mitchell try to get him going left, but Baylor's defense oh, forcing it down. It's the second dunk for Caputo. Caputo. A shuffle pass and an inside look for Belich. We talked about the NCAA tournament experience of Baylor. There's only a couple of guys on UC Santa Barbara that are used to playing on this stage. So it's interesting that they have this poise. Pick things up. We talk about poise. It's Cole Anderson. Number two, Arizona went down. Number four, Virginia went down. Anderson on the transition. Look, left it short, but he catches it. And puts it back. Lisa, that's back. Lisa to his short and sweet on the Baylor side. So far, advantage Gauchos. Out of that timeout, bench points have been key. Eight now for Loner. And, and, and Bellich, Lisa, <laughs> he got to get it a little harder layup than that. Chamwa Chachua for his first points. Flagler. Penetration kicks it out. And Bonner hits the three point shot. The second three point make now, two of seven. And part of a seven nothing run here for Bear. Now eight on the timer. Mitchell crosses over just with his two points, flips it up with the left hand. They're going to make it tough for him today. And cheering that one on, coming, making the trip all the way from overseas. Advantage right now, Gauchos. <laughs> Norris again, Miles Norris for the Gauchos making another defensive play. a play where they like to try to get Miles Norris a three or get A.J. going here. 
told you there's going to be a lot of tough twos to come for Mitchell. He's got six points. Crossover for Bridges. That was about six hockey assists in this game, and good job by the old vet, Adam Flaggett. Mitchell gives it up, though he had five to defend it, and now six here to shoot. Final few seconds, shot clock still in play, about a second differential flag with the step back. He's got nine now. Desperation, he thought, boy, that was close. They gotta work on their ball screen defense and offensively. He felt pretty good shooting 65%. So normally that wins you games. But 62% from the field on the opposing team, that's not going to work. We heard Andrew's report, and Scott Drew has to be pretty happy with those first two defensive possessions. The second half, he's got to be happy with the first two offensive possessions, too. And work to control that pace and play a little bit slower in the first half. They look. And a big three point shot from Miles Thorne. 0 for 4 for George here in the game. All his points coming from the free throw line. 4 of 6 in the first half. Well, defensively, if you're the Bears, you can give up straight line drives. And you laid it left. All the time. So sometimes you just can't stop it. If a guy has a strong weapon, and he's crafty. And he's I love the transparency. Bridges. It's Flagler taking it out. Finding The third three-point make for Baylor today. Good screen. Good cut by the guy, off guy, but then also a great shot by LJ. George forcing that turnover to dive for Flagler to keep it up. Transition two for Paylor. They average 11 per game during the season. Jonathan Chuck, that's a long two. Boy, he just had to step back like half an inch and that would have been a three. Coach Drew says he's the emotional leader for this team. Yeah, Chacho Chacho. Yeah, certainly he is. And Baylor and John Chacho are providing all kinds of pressure here. Part of a 9 0 run that ends there. What a shot. A.J. Mitchell. The kick out to Bonner. He's got seven seconds on the shot clock to work with. Behind the back, Lowe. He's been good. Knocks down the track. This year, we thought there might be a chance we might see him. He has not played here for UC Santa Barbara yet tonight. Or today, I should say. Remember, the game was tied 41 all. 17-12 left to play. Baylor has gone on this run. Mitchell, again, they're making it tough for him. They have defensively all day long. Finally, Norris from the corner. Boy, the Gauchos needed that. Miles Norris has not missed a shot. Four for four from the field. A perfect two for two from three. Bonner gets it, and he trains it. You see two players, always hawking Mitchell. He looks it off into the corner. There's Kennedy. He's got 15 points. Defensively, you got to stay connected. We call that old lock and trail. Have to make sure. Good job of breaking down the defense. He's 5 for 11 from the field today. 0 for 2 from 3. Cryer taking it inside. Jump stop well under control. He switched it to his right hand, and he's at 11 points. Altitude got that one. They need to close the door or something. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 5,000 miles above altitude right? oh. or elevation. There's a tip for Norris. 15 points for Norris. Maybe this is a Baylor defense for this game, for this second half that the Baylor fan base, that Scott Drew has been waiting for to see this year. Flagler. This second half, they gave up no airspace to the Gauchos, and then rebounding the basketball has been a plus for the Baylor Bears. Scott Drew has an advantage with these two guards. Boy, they can make plays. Ooh, and they continue to make plays. L.J. Cryer looking to put a period on it. But working hard to just get back to get these final few seconds here in postseason play. Belich turns the corner and lays it in. Well, we've seen some upsets in the South region. We won't see one here in Denver, at least in our first game. Baylor avoids the upset in the South region.